Good afternoon. Uh, it's great to see all of you. Um, also excited to share that uh, the momentum from the conference that I was focused last year on race uh, has resulted in an edited volume. Race, work, and leadership. <laughs> New Perspectives on the Black Experience, and I had the honor of co-editing with Tony Mayo and David Thomas, and it's available on Amazon pre-order, special price. <laughs> uh, when Robin and Lakshmi first reached out to me, and I had already seen the announcements, and I was really excited about the theme of our conference this year, um, I thought about a piece that I had already published, and that piece um, was called Speak Easy, Real Talk. And so it's about uh, some of the challenges and struggles with owning and speaking our truth and some of the dynamics uh, that we experience internally and interpersonally in doing that. Um, but as I reflected more on coming to this moment and this particular place in history, um, it led me in a slightly different direction, a uh, similar theme, but a little bit different energy um, and emotion. And so this poem is simply titled, Enough. They told me I had already said enough. So I began to wonder, if only I were clever enough or convincing enough, if only I were persuasive enough or charming enough, if only I were gracious enough or considerate enough, if only I were demure enough or seductive enough, captivating enough, brilliant enough, prolific enough, passionate enough, vibrant enough, connected enough to be heard. I mean, really, truly heard. Like the surround sound, high definition version of my fervent prayers to be enough, to find enough, to have enough, because I've had enough. I've had enough of the pandering. I've had enough of the placating. I've had enough of the deceiving. I've had enough of the misleading. I've had enough of the oppression. I've had enough of the injustice. I've had enough of the facades. And we have suffered long enough. We have cried long enough. We have battled long enough. We have feared long enough. We've scavenged long enough, we've yearned long enough, we've doubted long enough, we've denied long enough, we've assimilated long enough. We have accommodated long enough. We have remained hidden long enough, co-conspiring in our own demise, silently hurting long enough. But have we really done enough? Do we really have enough to do enough? Do we really have enough courage? Do we have enough conviction? Do we have enough time? Do we have enough money? Do we have enough allies? Do we have enough faith to generate enough traction to change the world? Because if we've truly had enough, then we'll look to one another and discover that each of us does have enough. Because in the beginning and in the end, we're all that we have. And all that we have is enough knowing that all that we are is enough. And because we are enough, I am enough. As long as I hold on to the magic within my divine spirit, I will have enough because I will be enough 
to meet any challenge that crosses my path. And when my words are not enough, I will act louder. Thank you.